You have to know what you stand for, where you've come from, and some idea about where you're going and why. The leader must set the tone on, on things like values. People don't want weak leaders, they want clarity, but they definitely, they want it done and they want the relationship with you to be one of mutual respect. I believe that a good work-life balance mm -hmm. makes you a better mother mm -hmm. and also a better, a better I guess, CEO for the, for the mm -hmm. company. On the one hand, there's a very strong intuitive sense that the identity is constant and concrete, if you like. But in lived experience, we find it's not like that at all. It's constantly evolving, constantly changing. I think the mixing and overlap of cultures is no longer something we can resist. It's something we have to embrace because it's the way of the new century. How is a company like this surviving? This company survives by being the best at adapting fast enough. For me, coaching is a lot like parenting. It's, it's being able to throw your arm around someone and it's also being able to kick them in the tail a little bit when they need a push. 